charged with. Uh, the amount of the fraud is six hundred and eighty-nine thousand nine hundred and seventy dollars and twenty-four cents. Alhamdulillah. My name is Ishaq Mustakim. My father is from AT and my mother is from Switzerland and I'm Muslim two years now. I was born in Montreal and um, I grew up in Montreal. Uh, when I was a, a kid, a young kid, I was really good in school. Like my mom, like I, I, I'm sure my mom had like high hope in me because uh, I was uh, his, his, his first kid and uh, I was a really good kid, really good grades in school and everything. Everything turned, uh, changed while um, I was uh, looking for happiness. I was only uh, living with my mom and my stepfather and I didn't really have a father figure. Uh, he was not, my stepfather was not a, a father figure and my dad was not in my life. So uh, I ended up uh, being raised uh, by the street so, um, at the age of uh, like uh, 14, 13, 14 years old, I started looking like the, the other kids in school. Uh, and I saw them, like I saw the kids that were like uh, taking drugs and drinking alcohol and going out with girls. I saw them like more happy than the other kids. So, I started to, to, to want to be with them and and try that stuff so that's what I did and hanging out with bad people uh, end up to giving us like bad habits so at the age of uh, 15 um, I was so bad that they put me in like a juvenile jail so I went to juvenile jail like for a few months and um, after that um, I, I did I, I didn't stop like doing bad things. I did so much bad things that um, they wanted they wanted me like to lock me down like for good. Uh, so I ran, I ran for the from I ran out from that juvenile jail. And um, after that, uh, my mom had to send me back like send me to uh, Switzerland. So I went to Switzerland um, to work for 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 her brother. And um, I, wor I was working there like for, I worked there like for like three months. But then again, I, I was alone there, but I put myself into a trouble that the police was looking for me, that I had to come back here to Montreal. And that uh, was at the age of 17. Um, at the age of 17, I cooled off. Uh, I stopped doing like bad things a little bit because I, I was saying to myself like, Soon I will be 18 and soon, like, if I get caught, I will go to jail. But uh, I don't know what happened with me. Like, at 18, like, I started back again and uh, they got me and I went to jail for, like, two years. Before I went to jail, uh, I, learned, I learned that the happiness was um, into getting high, getting drunk, and getting with girls. But in jail, uh, because jail is the school of crime, I learned that the happiness was into getting a lot of material thing, a lot of money. And um, two years in that jail made, like, just like, made me have a criminal mind. I was, I, I didn't have a really criminal mind before, but that two years, like, that's what it did. And um, I was, I was Christian before, and I was Christian, but I was not praying. Just I was only praying like when I, I wanted something really bad, or when I was in problems, into problems. And that jail time was for me a problem. So I started reading the Bible and uh, praying a little bit. And I don't know why. Like uh, somebody that I wasn't wasn't speaking with, um, he wasn't ar ar around like the, who I was hanging with. Um, he just came and gave me the uh, Quran and he told me to read it. But at that time, like, uh, I was reading the Bible and the Quran was not uh, read the same way. So uh, it didn't, like, touch me. So I just, like, give it back. After, when the, um, I got out from jail, um, I started my mission. My mission uh, to get money. When I got out of jail, is uh, there that when 
when I got out of jail is um, then when I started chasing the money, getting after the money. And um, because I had no school and the fastest way to get money was uh, the criminal way, that's uh, the way I went. And in every um, type of way to make money, any t type of like uh, bad thing you can think, I was in it. Because really my plan was getting money. And um, I lived like, I don't know if it was, if it's a good thing or if some people would say it's a good thing, some people would say it's a curse because in my life, like, I achieved like most of my goals that I, that I wanted. And um, for 10 years, like, I lived that life, that life of like luxury, that life of power and respect. So, um, because when I say this, like people don't really understand, so I have to make a little bit like of, of uh, explain a little bit. Like when we, we, when I say like I had the things that most people, young and older, they would like to have that I had in my life, they don't really understand. Because everybody has his own uh, perspective on like what is luxurious. So when we're talking about cars, Benzes, I have a few, I had a few, BMW, Porsche, Viper, Hummer, Jaguar, Cadillac, like most of all the brands, like the big brands, that's the car that I had. Like houses, condos, but not like only like the cars like normal, like the, the car, because when you buy a car, it's like to make you happy because but the thing is that happiness doesn't last so after right after like you have to suit up the car but after when the car is suit up there's nothing else to do so you buy another car me at, at one time like had like two cars and I was renting out like other cars just to have another change because like I was bored I, I had a house and I was living in hotel suites. It cost me like 10,000 a week just for hotel suites. So the clothes, like just the clothing, like um, because like uh, when you have money, like uh, even the money like uh, change your style a little bit. Because before I was like, I, I was addressing like everybody but after that, I had to like buy suits, you know, like uh, three, like three, four thousand dollar suits, you know. And uh, I had like uh, me, I was not really the type that was going like into clubs and and um, partying. Uh, I didn't really like that. What I liked it more was really because really I was on a mission. I really liked it more, like staying home, counting money planning for other other plans you know so when i got out got out to to into the into the club was only like for money purpose when we had like <laughs> meetings or like when when they when when they invite me so they had to be like vips and everything because the thing is that most of the rappers they want to be like gangsters and most of the kids they want to be like rappers but those rappers they want to be like the criminals mm. and at one time that was the type of, of person I was I was a person that really liked like to enjoy a good meal so that was my that's what I liked it most most every day going to big restaurant like big like the biggest restaurant of the cities and eating on floors that most of you will never see. Like floors that, that, that are not open to the public. So we eat like for like few thousand a meal. And that's nothing because more there's other people that's doing more, you know. 
So that was the type of life that I was living. And I lived like a millionaire life for like 10 years. But at the end, because all that do doesn't come from, from nothing, you have to work a lot. And at the end, I was questioning myself, like, because when you have all that, and I, I didn't find the happiness, like, even at one time, because I was in my house, that I all, like, I all, I rebuilt the, my complete house, like, <laughs> I, I made, I, I made a container, like, to come in front of my house, and I destroyed everything, like, throw out everything on the, in the container, and I rebuilt everything, like, with the best of the material. But even after, <laughs> I'm alone in my house, like, and I'm thinking, like, I'm not happy. Even if I drink the best of the alcohol, I'm not happy. So I was questioning myself, like, really badly. And um, it's then when sometimes, like, you, you go into, like, little, like, what we can call, like, depression. Because you're questioning yourself so much. And um, at the same time, like because when you live uh, that kind of life, it can't be good forever. So after 10 years, uh, I got caught for a little thing and uh, I had a sentence of uh, 11 months. So I went to jail for, uh, for a few months, nine months, and um, because I didn't, like, you don't do, like, the full sentence. Like, I went, I, I went to jail for nine months. So, uh, there, because of my criminal file, like, they put me, like, in a certain uh, um, area, like, the maximum. And at that time, like, they put me, like, even, like, if I had, like, a, a, a good life, there's always, like, you always want more. So, there's, like, always... I was looking up to other people still, you know? So, and they put me like in a, in a wing with like those kind of people that had even more money, that was spending even more money. Like, they were talking like a lot of money. So, um, and, and, <laughs> you, and we, it's not like anybody like we're talking just like that and you believe like you can read it in the newspaper when something happened like it's in the newspaper so um and they were t talking about me like that even them they were not happy even them like they wanted to change so really all that m made me even more like put in a position that I had that, that I had to think about my life. And um, after, at the end of my sentence, uh, I got uh, in, a jail, in, in a cell with um, a Muslim. And uh, that Muslim brother uh, started to talk to me about Islam. And uh, really, now I was like, because I was already questioning myself. So I was really interested about uh, what he was saying. And uh, what is a good thing for him, but a bad thing for me, he got released. But he told me he would send me the Quran, but uh, maybe something happened because he never did. Like, not, I don't know if he never did, but I never, I never received it. So, um, after uh, I got released, and I went back to, to my same life, you know? And I forgot everything about, about God because when you know more into problems and you're not a Muslim, as soon as things go good, like you forgot God again. And um, while I was like do, doing my life, uh, I met up uh, with a woman, and um, that woman she was Muslim, and her mom, she told me that I should look up into Islam, and it's then that I started doing my own research.